So, <laughs> the Sony ZV-E1 has 120p 4K now and uh, <laughs> the funny part is um, there was no firmware upgrade, nothing. And the other funny part is that Sony said when they released the camera, they said it won't be a paid upgrade. It will just, they would they just need to tweak the firmware, okay? But there was no firmware upgrade, nothing. Um, so I think what actually happened is that it was supposed to be uh, a paid firmware upgrade, but obviously a lot of people had issues with this. A lot of people were just like, why do you want to give us 120p and we have to pay for it additionally? That doesn't make sense. And I think because of the outcry, instead of being honest, I mean, Sony should have just been honest and said, okay, yes, we wanted to make an paid upgrade, but after a lot of backlash from the community, we decided we'll just give it away for free. So the file that you actually put on your SD card and you activate, there's no code in there. I opened it. You can open it with a text editor. Um, it's literally just the certificate. It's like, a, it's, it's, it's usually something, it's a license. It's a, it's, a, it's a license file with a certificate in it. There's no code in there. There's no actual code that gives you 120. The camera has always had 120. Since the beginning, it had 120p 4K. And what's a 240p for Full HD? It had it. It's just the file that they sent now literally just allows you to use it. That's all it does. There's no code in there. It's not a firmware upgrade. So, yeah, <laughs> it's just funny how Sony said that was never the case. It's not going to be a paid upgrade. It's like, <laughs> but clearly, clearly they wanted to make it a paid upgrade. <laughs> they just changed their minds. So, yeah, the ZVE one now can actually do 4K 120. You just have to go to the website, uh, follow the the instructions there you have to put in your camera serial number then it will generate the certificate for your camera so because your camera will be op obviously opens the certificate using your serial number to make sure that this is actually for you and you can't use it on other cameras so you won't be able to let your friend download it and then you use it that's not going to work uh, it only works if you go to the website you download it with your serial number and then after that yeah, it pretty much you put it on your memory card, you, you boot up the camera. Um, mine automatically detected it. It just said that, oh, there's a new license detected. Do you want to load it? And you just said yes. And I just said yes, and it just worked. So, um, yeah, and it's, there's no funny way to do 120p. You just go into the standard settings where you set your frame rate. Um, and yeah, it's there. And obviously your SNQ actually works for, works properly now because previously SNQ actually didn't really work because you couldn't actually do any slow-mo because it will record in the same if, if you're doing high frame rate videos like I do. So obviously like uh, 50p videos or 60p videos. And then if you switch to SNQ, it actually didn't do anything. You could you could just go a higher speed and not slower speed or well, yeah well you could you can't do slow-mo you can only do time lapses uh, but now you can actually do slow-mo so now you can do two times slow-mo if you're shooting 50p or 60p so yeah it's working and uh yeah everybody with a zve1 enjoy this is steve if you like this video remember to press the button and uh yeah if you want to see more remember to subscribe until next time ciao